this is a artificial insemination pipette for a sow. This is the sow. She's standing by the boar. She's standing by the boar. She won't move. So then we're going to take the pipette at an angle, at a 10 degree, 15 degree angle up towards the sow's backbone. And then it's going to level out and lock in to the cervix because the cervix is ringed. Lock into the cervix. She's not going to move. Push on her back. When you push on her back, that's the weight of the boar. And so she's standing by the boar. And then the semen comes in this. It'll come in some kind of little plastic um, container. It'll be, they come in several different shapes. And there's a little tip that breaks off. And that fits right into the end of the semen tube, the AI pipette. And then you have to wait for her to contract. And so the more weight and the boar helps, you don't have to have a boar, but they make a boar spray you can use instead. But they have, you have to wait. So we kind of put some pressure on it. Go ahead. You just have to keep a little bit of pressure on it. And once she starts contracting, then she'll just suck it down. But until she starts contracting, there's nothing you can do. You can't just push it in. You have to wait until she uterus contracts and she sucks it in. And we usually pop it off to get a little bit of air. Because again, there's a vacuum on it because she's pulling it in. And then you just have to wait until she... So see, there's pressure, but it's not going anywhere. So you just have to wait. And you just have to put pressure on the back. And usually they'll stand, 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 and their ears will be pinned back. She doesn't have her ears pinned back. She's, she's on the outside of, of her heat cycle. We ride her a few times. And the boar's very excited. That helps a whole lot. So then see, again, we're just waiting because you just have to wait. You can't force it in. You just have to wait for her to have a uterine contraction. And sometimes it'll take four or five minutes. You just have to be patient. They'll take it in waves, so she'll contract for a little while and then not. And then if they're not in heat, so this sow is in heat. Actually, we just bred her. And if you push on them, they won't do anything. Now, this one is not in heat, and watch the difference. So she doesn't want her back touched at all. Okay, but this one does because she's in heat. So that's when you have to look for that. And it, again, it helps a lot to have a boar. Again, she's still standing there. She's not going anywhere. She's going to wait. And we breed for a sow. You want to breed 24 hours after they stand for the first time. So once they do the whole solid standing thing, you wait 24 hours if it's a sow. If it's a gilt, you breed after 12 hours. So say she's standing this morning, we would breed her this afternoon. And a sow, if she's standing this morning, we would breed her tomorrow afternoon. So they ovulate near the end of the heat cycle, and that's what you want to catch.